I'm going to read the flying school bus. The school bus was old, its fenders were bent. It rattled and rumbled wherever it went. The paint was chipped, the seats were lumpy, and out on the road it went thumpity bumpy. But the children loved the rickety old bus and hopped aboard it without any fuss. Come storm, come snow, in rain or in hail, they knew their friend would never fail. Till early one morn in the middle of town with an extra loud rumble, it plain broke down. The principal frowned and shook her head. It's certainly time for a change, she said. A change to be sure, Mayor Thayer agreed. A nice new school bus is just what we need. So a new one arrived, all shiny and clean, with fresh yellow paint and seats, to, seats of dark green. The kids were unhappy with their elegant bus. Our old one, they said, was more friendly to us. Where will they put it? A little boy cried. In the junkyard, of course, the mayor replied. The motor's worn out, the tires are flat. We'll sell it for scrap and that will be that. So there the wreck sat till one gloomy day. Along came a tow truck to haul it away. While the kids looked on with tears in their eyes, the driver unloaded his chains and supplies. But as he came close, the wreck gave a cough. The horn went to toot. The hubcaps flew off. Then as they stared with mouths gaping wide, that battered old bus started to glide. Thumpity bumpy, it rolled past the square, then ever so smoothly sailed up in the air. It zoomed right over young officer Pickett, who promptly began to write out a ticket. It circled a game of baseball nearby and made Jody Jenkins hit a pop fly. It buzzed the farm of Mrs. O'Hare who huffed. What's a pumpkin doing up there? It looped and swooped like a big yellow kite then flew up, up, clear out of sight. And soon far and wide the country folk heard of a magic school bus that flew like a bird. Silly, impossible came the great cry. Everyone knows that buses can't fly. Did all this happen? Is the tale true? The children say yes. How about you?